Soul Calibur is about speed. Not just how fast you're moving, but also how fast your opponent is moving. If you have two moves started at the same time, one is faster, one is slower, the faster attack will win. The slower attack will get interrupted and beat out. This is the general rule. Advantage and disadvantage work in a very simple fashion. If you have advantage for that instant in time, you are moving faster. It's your turn. You get to go first. If you have disadvantage for that instant in time, you are moving slower. Wait until it's your turn. Let's look at a few examples. We'll be looking at this Tira in the red. The inputs on the bottom of the screen are actually the inputs of the other opponent, so look at them or ignore them as you wish. Here I land a BB. According to quote unquote the rules, since I've hit, I have advantage. Since I'm moving faster, I can attack. So I do. I attack with an AA. Again, I scored a successful hit, so I have advantage. So I can attack again. Here I go for the BB, but it gets blocked. According to the rules, since I got blocked, I am at disadvantage. Since I'm moving slower, I have to use a defensive option, or else I'm going to get counter hit. Blocking, stepping, backstepping, etc. I choose to go for the backstep. Now, here's the kicker. I did the backstep, and my opponent whiffed a throw. They missed. According to the rules, if my opponent misses, in that instant, I have the advantage. That means I can attack, and I do, with a 3B. That's a punish, a whiff punish specifically, into a combo. As you can see, I followed the rules, so I got rewarded. Let's move on. Here I block a sit sits b Brave Edge. Since I blocked, I have the advantage. I choose to go for an AA. See that counter hit? That happened because my opponent tried to attack at disadvantage. That is generally not a good idea because everything you do at disadvantage is slower. When you use slow moves versus fast moves, the slow move gets interrupted. It gets countered. Well, since I still have the advantage, I hit. I go for the throw. I have a feeling that the opponent is going to block my next attack, so I use an attack that goes right through his guard. Generally, when the opponent is grounded, you have the advantage. Now, this usually depends on two things. How fast the opponent recovers, and whether you can reach the opponent or not. If you try to run forward and get closer to attack, you'll lose some time. You might end up losing your advantage. But as long as your opponent is hesitating and not attacking, you should still be good. Now, I can reach my opponent, and I have a feeling that he will stand guard. So I use 236K Brave Edge, which is a low. <laughs> opponent is grounded. I have the advantage. I'm going to go for it again. Okay, I got blocked. I'm at disadvantage now. Specifically, I'm at negative 11, which is pretty big disadvantage. So the easiest thing for me to do is block. I blocked. Now I have the advantage. Now it's my turn. That got blocked. I'm at disadvantage. I need to do something defensive. I think I'm going to go for a sidestep. Well, that didn't work. I got hit. AA happens to be anti-step. I probably should have just blocked, but that's what happens. Let's move on. Battle for fight. Okay, so big whiff. I'm at advantage, so I get to attack. I'm at so much advantage that I can go for a punish. I do the 3B. That's a full combo. Little side note, when you're playing this game, if you can help it, don't whiff. Do not whiff. You will eat big damage all day if you whiff. Don't go missing your attacks, please. Do not whiff. Okay, check this out. 
I get launched. The opponent drops the combo. He whiffed and I got up pretty fast. Now, it looks to me that I might have advantage since it looked like the recovery on that sits B wasn't so great. So, I use a fast, simple poke, my BB. And it turns out that I was at advantage, if you can see the little counter there. I moved faster, I got the counter hit. Now, I want you to look at this clip. I attack three times in a row, even though my attacks were blocked. Why? Well, the thing about advantage and disadvantage is that they only exist in that moment, just that instant. If it isn't used, it vanishes into thin air. Poof, gone. When it does, that means we're both even. Nobody has advantage or disadvantage. What you do when you're even is up to you. Do you want to block? Or do you want to attack? I like attacking, so I use some fast pokes to try and beat my opponent out. AA, BB, you know. But it's all up to you. Now here's a nice clip. What I'm doing is pressing my advantage. Since I have advantage, I keep attacking. I mitts up my attacks so they're harder to defend against. I go for the low. I go for the low. And then I go for the mid. Which gets me the ring out. When you pressure your opponents like this, you frustrate them. You make it difficult for them. You keep on the pressure enough, and they crack. Then you start hitting them with the big guns. Then you win. Let's go over that. Okay, now, this is a guard break attack. Tier is gloomy 2-2-B. You can tell it's a guard break because of the blue lightning effect. What's special about guard break attacks is that they give advantage on block. They break the rules, so to speak. Since I have advantage, I can attack. Now watch this clip carefully and see how I'm chaining my advantage together. You can see how effective this is. Now, when you're doing this right, you make the other guy want to start holding on to his guard button. That means you can mitz him up, you can use slow moves, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Fight. Don't whiff, kids. Please don't whiff. Now, if I want you to take anything from this, it's that you should notice that I stop whenever I get put at disadvantage. Now, I may switch gears really fast when that disadvantage wears away, but whenever it shows up, I need to think about defense or I'm going to get countered. Now, here's a funny thing. 2K is pretty fast, 15, 14 frames, but it's negative on hit. It's a small amount of disadvantage, and 2K is so fast that it can beat you out if you hesitate. But if somebody's doing this to you, just spamming 2K over and over again, just hit them out of it. BB them out of it. Small side note, uh, watch out for players that 2K you on purpose, and then backstep or sidestep. But uh, that's, that's advanced. That's for later. Now check this out. That was also a defensive option. I was at disadvantage, so instead of using a regular attack and getting counter hit, I jumped. I jump attacked right over that low. Defensive options actually come in a lot of different flavors. It's not just blocking. So these are the rules. 
against most players, if you follow the rules, you will win. Period. You're going to win. You need to learn this before you can do anything else in this game. So let me sum things up. Number one, attack at advantage and defend at disadvantage. It's easy. Follow the rules. Number two, use fast moves to lay the groundwork. Your AAs, your BBs, your pokes. Because you're moving faster, there's a high probability that you're going to beat out the other guy. Then, when your opponent is noticing they can't get a hit in, they start blocking. Then you can use slower moves because the opponent is hesitating when they're blocking. Don't use slow moves whenever you want to because you're going to get counter hit and interrupted. You're going to get sped out. Number three, advantage and disadvantage only exist in the current moment. If it's gone, it's gone. Thin air. Poof. Number four, press the advantage. When you've got advantage, go crazy on the other guy. Go ham. I mean, really curb stomp him. Get up in there. The only time you want to back off when you have the advantage is number one, when you either really don't have the advantage because you can't reach him or there's a spacing issue, or number two, when you're playing mind games on the other guy. Get tricky. All right. Hope this helps you out. Gets, uh, gets you a little closer to understanding the game. Peace.